Okay, people, the recession is really not healthy for us, and I mean that in a literal sense. Deloitte did a study, said one in five Americans did not seek care for a recent illness or injury. They went on to report that 79% reported visiting a doctor this year as opposed to 85% last year. And what's also happening is when they do visit, they're shopping for care, kind of local medical tourism going on. Now, some families truly have to decide between healthcare and, and groceries, and, it, and, and it's certainly understandable. But you need to avail yourself, especially those, there's so many in, in, who have lower incomes and qualify. There are so many safety net programs out there. But even for those out there who have means, who just don't want to spend the money for one reason or another or can't afford it, you really need to pay attention to your health. Because if you let things go, it's actually going to be worse for you in the long run. It's going to be worse actually for the health care system, the way it taxes it, and it's also going to be worse in terms of cost of health care, which in turn are also always going to feed back to the consumer and the individual, right? In terms of increased prices for health services, increased insurance premiums. But the bottom line is to do it for yourself. People are delaying necessary tests that they should be having now so they don't become worse. Okay, there's been enough literature out there about screening mammograms that you know the test, you know the laundry list, they're easily found on the internet. Look them up, find out what you need, and let's figure out a way to get you the testing you need and consult with the support services in your community to see what's available for you to do that. Thanks.